Welcome back, everybody. We are going to solve an activity today, and we want our starboard. Uh, we figured out how many uh, atoms of carbon were in a lump of coal that weighed 120 grams earlier. That is not necessary for this activity. I need your name here, activity one. And you don't have to copy any part of the question. Please don't do that. Uh, some of you already did that. I'm sorry. I'm glad you're know, getting this out of the way early. Uh, only the answers needed here and show your work. So I know there's a lot of little nitpicky questions here, but if your approach is to ask yourself these questions every time, then you are systemizing this kind of problem and you'll be able to solve it when you have a problem that has units that you've never seen before, right? So some of you are looking at this, I know, I kind of know kilograms and pounds and he gave us a table with some stuff on it. Yeah, we're gonna use that table. So uh, there's only one number here. So we, we started off pretty easy, yeah? We've got a highlighter and the number being converted is pink. And sometimes nonverbal answers are pretty good. Hey, like that. You can just write down 57.6. Don't write down kilograms. That's not a that's not a number. What is kilograms? No, no. Kilograms is a form of a unit, and units need to be converted in these problems. So, how many pounds is this? We better do some research. We need to find, if we can, some relationship between pounds and kilograms. And it's on this sheet down here. Oh. I was going to start the video like this earlier, and uh, no, I didn't. never mind. It's on Word, and I think it's open. Okay, I was going to start the video like this. You don't see this now. There's my dad. There, there's that. And there is, there's that guy. Yeah, and they're not seeing this in the video. So I got a picture of my dad. We did a tribute to my dad earlier. Uh, Zelensky is the president of Ukraine. You're not seeing this on the screen. When Kermit the Frog, for some reason, is, is right here. <laughs> right? There he is. There. Okay. So we're going back, and we do want to watch. So I got to go stop share and share with Word. This is my number one bugaboo. You're going to get videos where I'm talking about something you're not looking at eventually. <laughs> We're not there yet. Uh, we were looking for a relationship between kilograms and pounds. Is that correct? You see it yet? Yeah. Uh, two point. We need that. We need that written down on our page. One kilogram equals 2.205 pounds. I'm going to do a stop share and share with the old starboard. Right. And we're going to go blue, hopefully. Uh, what are the units of this number? It's kilograms, right? Desired units are pounds. LB is the short form. Okay, LBS. She's correct. LBS, because I said the word pounds. I didn't say pound. Good job. Conversion factor. What did I say we're going to have to write down right away? Because I forgot already. One kilogram equals... 2.205 uh, pounds. Now that is not a conversion factor. That is two conversion factors. Anytime it's written like that, there's two possible conversion factors. You need to pick the one that has the units you want to get rid of on the bottom. It is that simple. Don't fight it. Some of you are already saying in your mind, I already know how to solve this problem. What's he talking about? He said, put stuff on the bottom. Why? Because if you buy in now, later in the semester, when you're using units you've never heard of and have no concept of, you're going to be able to solve these problems. If you think, oh, I already knew how to do this day one, I'm going to solve it. You're not going to solve it. So here we are. Uh, we're getting rid of kilograms, correct? Just take that. Whatever's in front of kilograms, the number and the kilograms, put it in the denominator. So the conversion factor is in red, and it's right here. Whatever you're getting rid of is in the bottom, and it's kilograms. 
one kilogram. And the thing on top is the other part of this equals 2.205 pounds. It is much harder to do it with a mouse than write it. Oh, better put the S. There you go. And yeah, do the conversion. Okay, once you've picked the conversion factor and you've identified the number and units you need to convert, you're, you're off to the races. Your answer starts with 57.6. Copy the red thing because you picked the right one. 2.205 pounds for every one kilogram. What's going to happen to those kilograms now? They're going to cancel because we have them on the top and the bottom. Green is good for canceling. That's all. Doesn't show up on the screen, I'm told. And I believe we're going to get a final answer. It's going to be a little more than double, isn't it? Like we talked about. Talking over 120 here, aren't we? See, my ballparking worked, didn't it? I said, well, that's close to 60. Double of that 60. I'm still going to be a little above that. Worked. You get that way with practice. Trust me. So give me everything on your calculator. You said it already, but I forgot. I need all of it. I need all of it. Okay. <laughs> yes, without pounds, we're just wasted our time, right? Yeah. Yeah. So that's a answer. And this, this would be like a two-point question. You want to know your score right now? It's not a bad little score. 1.75 out of two. The only thing is, why am I not getting two out of two? Uh, simplify it, round it, round it's good, round it's good. Yeah, it has to be rounded because you're pretending you know about this eight. You you have no idea about this eight. You have no idea about this zero. You have no idea about this zero, how come? I, I'm kind of certain that the seven is right. Where, where, where am I going with this? Okay, it's called significant figures. I'm only going to briefly talk about it today, and I'm, I assume you're going to review it all weekend. Okay, and we're gonna have, we're gonna be talking about sig figs on Monday, like you know about sig figs, because there's lots of sig figs, nice short form, right? Sig figs. When I say that, significant figures, reporting numbers responsibly. Yeah, not being a goofball, right? I mean, somebody gives me that an answer like verbally. 127.008 pounds are being goofy. Okay. They're saying they're making up stuff. How many sig figs are in 57.6? I picked a nice number. They all count, right? So that's three, three sig figs. You need to stop your answer at the first three sig figs. So uh, I'm highlighting the sig figs. The only thing that's in doubt. My highlighter needs to be widened too. I'm going to get everything widened by next week. Oh, our computer's so smart. You know what we did there? You white out something on a page in real life, and five minutes later, you come back and it looks like wet white out on the next time, right? It does that. <laughs> Pretty clever. Uh, yeah, I talk about a lot of weird things. 127 is. Why am I saying 127 and not 127.1? It all depends on the next sig fig, right? You have a hint about this, but you're not 100% certain. So with that one, if it's five or, be uh, or below five, sorry, don't say five or below, say five, below five, then you keep your number here. And if this was five or above, you all know this, right? Well, a lot of you know this. You'd make that a 128, right? And we're not worried about the decimal because that's past three sig figs, that's four. There's your final answer, but it doesn't have units yet. So it's a pretty bad final answer. There's your activity. And we're going to stop our share and stop our video and do one.